Hi my Cancerians, it's Leonore. Welcome to Soul Searching Tarot. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for coming by. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you, trust me. Um, thank you for leaving your comments, sharing your story with me. Trust me, I read them all and, and I appreciate you sharing that with me. Um, for those who haven't subscribed, please do so because I always encourage my um, subscribers or viewers to either share the story which is you know share the video which is even better but even if you don't um, hit the like button um, I do love for these messages to go through to the collectives that really really need to hear it okay that's important to my channel um, if you're viewing me for the first time I do integrate astrology as well as tarot card reads and spiritual messages all right, my Cancerians, this is going to be a general tarot card read, okay? Um, if you're looking for your love read, I have them. They're out there, okay? I did them. Right now, I'm just concentrating on, on general tarot card reads, all right? All right, love reads are a little shorter videos. All right. <sighs> I'm going to be using my Wildwood Tarot today, and I'm going to clarify it with my new mythic and Native American tarot deck. Um, if you're inquiring, I do not, I do not read my infused mythic and Native American cards together. Sorry, what the hell did I just say? <sighs> Bring it back, Leonore. I do not read the reversals. Like I don't, I shuffle them all in in the upright. That's what I meant to say. I shuffle them all in the upright. For those who inquire, some people want to know why. So I don't shuffle them in the reverse. I shuffle them in the upright only if I feel the energy is in the reverse. I will let you know. Moving on. First spread. Four of cups. Um, three of pentacles. Uh, the uh, judgment card. And the seer, which is the, um, the high priestess. All right. Uh, all right. So when I see my four pentacles in the reverse, it's kind of a sad energy. Um, I'm trying to figure out why. But my two majors were in the upright, if I'm not mistaken. Forgive me now, Cancerians or <laughs> Cross Watcher. Um, I'll feel the, I'll feel the, I will feel the energy, okay. But sometimes the words come out of my mouth wrong, even though the energy is still the same. We have Pisces and we have Pluto. Um, so Neptune and Pluto, Pluto. Interesting. What about Pluto? Um, Pluto's in 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 the uh, home, not home, but. It feels like a home. Um, the house, um, the 10th house, Capricorn. It's been there for quite some time. It um, has a lot to do with um, recognition, bingo. I see that with my um, high priestess recognition. Now, can this be a recognition of um, being a public figure or um, someone that is um, very popular? Um, people that um, people look at um, look up to you. Yes, yes, it can be. Um, I also sense finance. Um, and, and, and all these things are, are going to, uh, like, uh, these are not negative aspects. I'm just looking at my two majors so far, okay? Um, and that's what I feel, especially with the seer. Now, <sighs> let me tell you something about the seer, the high priestess right now, that I'm really picking up as far as strong, strong energy. You're dealing with someone, or you know someone, that dabbles into the dark arts, okay? The occult, um, whatever it is that people call it, you know, um, witches, wizards, um, all of the above, okay? Um, you're thinking about it, that's it. Intuition, 
to say the least, clairaudient. Um, and it's, it's okay because that's what the high priestess recognize, um, represents. The high priestess does represent all these things. And if you can look at her um, very closely, I don't think I have to go any further. You are either like either like this or someone else is, is like this. Um, this is someone's birthright, okay? What do I mean by birthright? Um, they were just born with it. They were just born with it. They might have not used this these abilities um, until they're older, um, until they got older, you know, in their older age. Um, and that's okay, it happens. That's what people evolve. <sighs> It doesn't matter how they evolve. Individuals are supposed to evolve. My my high priestess, um, you know, for the most part, they're quiet, right? When when readers pick up this card, they're like, "Oh, well, somebody's not saying nothing." Um, the high priestess don't have to say shit to you. Okay, she already know all about you before you even walked into that door. She already seen the future, okay? Before the fucking future happened to you. I'm sorry, I'm cursing. <laughs> Powerful energy, what do you want me to do? Um, you get my point. With the judgment card, um, this priestess is waking up to her abilities um, her or his abilities. I don't want to think that um, I'm talking about um, a specific, I don't want you to think that I'm talking about a specific gender. Tarot cards are just energies, right? So if you see a woman, a man, a male, um, a bear, it's gender free, it doesn't matter. I'm reading energies. Judgment card, they're, he they're here to collect. And you may be asking, who's there? Who's who are they? <laughs> who is here to collect, Leonore? My rent, my mortgage? Um, no. I was talking about evolving, right? Evolving yourself. If you have not evolved yourself, if you have not um, showed up to be more sympathetic to humans, um, sympathetic to yourself, um, if you haven't chased your dreams. And, and very and very worried about you know what goes on in the 3D world. And listen, I don't blame you. We have families to take care of. To take care of, yes, we got bills to pay. I understand that is very 3D. When I see these two um, energies together, and I was talking about um, recognition and finance, there is an abundance coming towards you. If you're into the dark arts, which means clairvoyant, if you know that you're into, you're, you know, you know you have intuition. Leonore, I know I have it. Depending on placements in your chart, it, it does depend on other placements in your chart, but Cancer, you do represent the seer. A lot of people, a lot of readers will say that the high priestess is the moon. The moon rules you. I just happen to to correlate this with uh, with um, Pisces. I do. But it could be any water sign. All right. I don't know why I sound dramatic today. I just do. Um, maybe because I finished meditating like crazy. All right. So um, my um, reversals were, were is my Four of Cups and my Three of Pentacles. Um, but... You know, what does four cups mean? Four cups is, is an energy where you're into your feelings. Um, and you could tell the depiction of, of this lady, this, this woman, just sitting, um, being pensive um, in her head about whatever it is. Um, it's, it's really bringing, bringing her down. It, it's... Um, it's a very heavy weight, whatever she is, whatever she's carrying on her back as far as broken, broken heart, loss of finance, 
trying to find trying to find who you are in this world and what you're supposed to do. That is my four of cups right now. With my three of pentacles in the reverse, um, I, I'm talking to a lot of you that that are either in the process of evolving again. What does evolving mean? Taking responsibility for for what you are made of. And and listen, Cancerians, um, your house represents home base, family, feelings, real estate, and and just nurturing, right? Just being someone that can nurture out of mostly out of anything. It makes you feel good. To have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse, you're in between two worlds. I know you are. I know I'm talking to people that are in between two worlds. And you're trying to figure your who you're trying to figure out who the fuck am I? And and I I'm I'm including every aspect of life. Children, love relationships. Now I'm I'm still in my first spread. Your first spread is really dictating the rest of your reading. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, but usually my first spread does do that for whatever reason. Um, and then my second spread is like the main, you know, idea, like the plot. <laughs> my third spread is unpredictable. Okay. Um, let's clarify. The Empress... Um, this is my Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, this is my Page of Wands, and this is the Sun. I really like your majors. Um, on this uh, in this reading, um, even though I'm in the sp first spread, listen, there are heavy hitters coming out as majors. Um, now we got the Empress and the Sun. All right, another two majors. Um, to clarify that first spread. So when I see my empress, um, this is so you, um, you know, it doesn't matter what gender you are. You know, it, it's just family is very important to you, your own family, other, even other people's family, family that you were raised um, with. Um, and that's the most amazing thing about Cancerians, you know, very um, homebodies. And, and I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just comfort. If I could say that comfort um, for everyone except you that's just the way cancer cancerians work now the Empress is not a cancerian energy it is um, Taurus and Libra I sense love and I sensed it when I picked up my Knight of Pentacles okay um, my Native American um, tarot deck is you know somewhat distorted with the uh, illustration um, but that's just the way it is. I still love the illustration. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is someone new, Cancerians. I'm talking to a group of you that are single. Um, but this is your dream is to be Empress, you know, or the Emperor. You want to take care of people. Um, but I almost feel for another group of you that you're in your power. Okay. You're in your power. All right, this is what you want to be to yourself. With my page of wands and the sun, um, it it's just, remember I was saying about something about birthright. <laughs> you came to this planet and you were like, "This is my birthright," okay? Um, and listen, it could be it, birthrights are good, bad, and sometimes a little ugly. But that's not the point. In your reading, I sense love um, within yourself um, for someone else, um, for a passion that you have of yours, okay? So that's what I'm feeling. I know that's three different topics, but at, at the end, it all has to do with love. There is a Knight of Pentacles coming towards you. Um, where is my Knight of Pentacles? Now, I don't know if you could see my Knight of Pentacles and my Page of, of Wands. They're both, um, my Knight of Pentacles is in a huge, big eagle. Um, eagle represents, um, it's, it's an amazing um, spirit animal for my Native Americans. And, and it's just an amazing spirit animal, period. 
my page of wands is also in a in a on an animal right they're both um elevating they're both elevating um page of wands um you know people again this is um you know honestly the page hmm interesting there's two groups um or maybe you will resonate with this i feel like you knew a page of wands you know like uh I feel like there's some of you that had friends with benefit, like somebody that you knew um, or that you know of that you went on a couple of dates with and you had like either, you know, sex on a first date. <laughs> Leonore, never mind me. Um, you know, the point is that Pedro Wands was very passionate. You guys had a very passionate relationship. Um, if you still do, you still do. Um, you know, even has platonic um you know, a platonic relationship, co-workers, you name it. Um, this person, this is the person that want to become your knight of pentacles. Um, this is a person that is, is, is considering you, considering you to take the relationship into a higher level. Again, evolving. Let's evolve this relationship. Let's not just still be friends. Let, let's just not have sex with benefits sorry there's a lot of airplanes riding low nowadays cancerians and it's getting on my fucking nerves i don't understand why my like airplanes are riding low nowadays and i apologize for the noise i do not live by an airport by no means do i live by an airport <sighs> something something's going on all right so that's that. Um, but the sun just really represents everything that I just said. I, you're going to be happy. You're going to be happy. Uh, the, the first and, and, and first spread, your entire first spread is the sun. <laughs> Point blank. Sun. All you had to do is come up, you know, come out in the first spread. And I, I would have known what you're, where you, what were you going to say, you know? And, and, and it's all these things. I, I really hope um, you understand that. Um, my cancerians because um it's there's something special about this first spread um and i love it i really love it um let's go to the second spread okay so so we have the page of cups hmm. the ace of cups the two of cups wow the strength card and the Ten of Cups. This is crazy. This is crazy, Cancerians. What in the world did you just bring me to? You literally brought me to another world right now. I'm not kidding. <sighs> Your smell. Um, my two, my only two uprights. Again, we have two majors. In uh, your your reading is very significant. Um, sorry, this is not a major. I apologize. I don't know why I'm mistaken this for the lovers, but I, I, the, I, with the strength card, I feel like it is the lovers. Um, yeah, I, whatever. It's still the same energy. Listen, you're meeting someone. Um, you may know this person already and, and, and you may be oblivious somehow, um, of who it is. Not, that's for a handful of you. Um, for some of you, it, it's the person that you want. It's a person that you want, vice versa. If it's vice versa, um, yeah, your 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 spirit guides, your your ancestors, uh, your birthright. Um, interesting. <laughs> you heard that? I don't know. That's crazy. I don't know why my alarm just rang. What's today, Wednesday? Whatever, it came at a perfect time because I was talking about ancestors. <laughs> I, I know I said ancestors and spirit guides in my, on this first spread. And birthright. Wow. That just confirmed everything, not for nothing. It really did. Oh my God, just take this in, Cancerians. Just take this in. I know that they're half animal, half um, human, but it doesn't matter. They're in love. 
oh, and if, if this is not you now, this will be you. Because I have all these cards. Look at this. Page of Cups. Ace of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Sorry, ten, ten of Cups. Cups, 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 Leonore. Um, look at this. This is just... Look at the flow of emotions going on here now okay yes they were in the reverse it's it's because it's not happening right, right now um, let's see what else because um, I took um, my my strength card and my, um, my my two of cups they were back to back they were next to each other um, my page of cups oh i gotta put my glasses for this one because this is a, a plot twister <sighs> um especially especially with these three cards in the reverse you turn somebody down okay either you turn someone down someone turned you down and you had offered them some you know a, you know a page you know offering a love um well i don't want to say love um maybe an apology uh, an offering, um, even, you know, um, just starting a new relationship, but I feel like you turn someone down. Um, it could have been a very friendly rejection. Um, I did sense that in, um, in the very first spread. I remember saying somebody is rejected. Oh God, don't mind me. Um, but this person feels a lot of love, FYI. If you were doubting the situation um, about this person's um, feelings, I feel like you have. That's why maybe they, these were all in the reverse because it's rejection and rejection. With my Ace of Cups in the reverse, um, either they're hiding how much they love you or you just don't know that they love you. You know, I'm sorry. I'm talking to 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 some of you that um, this is destined. This whole reading so far is destiny. And um, I sense it a lot with my Ten of Cups. It's just like flow of emotions. That's that's crazy. Like I have the Page, the Ace, and the Ten of um, Cups all in this spread with the two of cups all water sign um cancer pisces scorpio it doesn't have to mean anything but i just feel this whole spread is very um this this spread is um <sighs> this spread is a little bit out of this world i'm not gonna lie um I, and I, it has a lot to do with with um your destiny, your responsibility on earth, um, who you're supposed to meet, who who are you, who are you supposed to reject? Um, some of you don't even know um, that there's a new love for you. Um, maybe the person you rejected is the person that you're gonna have your ten of cups with. Um, maybe you have too much going on right now in life that you're not even thinking about love. And love is knocking on your door, literally knocking on your door. Um, yeah, and and these are your answer strength card. Oh my God. This is your ancestors. They're giving you a, 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 a gift. The universe or whatever source you go by, they're giving you a gift. All right, let's keep reading. Um, to clarify it, I have seven of wands. I have the devil. I have two of pentacles. And I have four of cups, all right? So that's the second time I see four of cups. I feel like the devil's in the reversal. Um, again, like I said, I don't shuffle these in the reversal. Um, but I'll feel the energy if it is this, the, the devil, my devil card right here. Um, another major on another spread 
is um is a reversal card um but again i sense that the, the that some of you rejected a person with the four cups yeah um my two of pentacles and my four of cups they're telling me that it's just telling me that you re you you rejected a person um for a group of you you rejected a person that you might have had some type of um minor intimacy minor you take that as it resonates um with my two of pentacles this person already decided on you this person already just they, they may, might have been um busy so either with career and another person or another person and, and their priorities whatever the case may be i don't sense that they had put you in a situation where you were like you know you know you have me and someone else like a player you know player energy um i sense this this person is very hard working have have good work ethics um considerate protective and so this is the person coming towards you um, or has been asking for your hand in in marriage <laughs> um, but not that to that extent um, and you're you're having the time of your life um, or you just have other priorities too or you were you've been you, you're just relationships right now like especially a commitment right now is not what you're thinking about however if you're thinking about it I just told you this blessing all over blessings okay my seven of wands with the devil my my seven of wands is is a um upright I feel it it is in the upright um my devil um is in the reverse listen this person there was things about this person that are that are not there anymore um if you know this person um you may know that this person was a player you know or has some toxic behavior um whatever it that may be um if you don't know this person that's how they used to be I feel like for, for a group of you, this person is coming towards you. You probably are like, I don't know nobody like that, Leonore. They're coming towards you. And I don't know. I sense timeline, December. December, January. They may have a birthday that's December, January, if that helps. It's Capricorn season, if that helps. I, I don't, my spirit guys are saying that. Um, Seven of Wands. Um yeah you just you just gave up on something whatever it is love relationships finance um it, trying to evolve yourself as an individual you gave up on that i i sense a lot of you are very depressed and you're going through some with my seven of wands mm -mm. yeah this card alone tells me that um a lot of you are going through some type of depression some type of depression melancholy all right last spread so we have here the two of swords and the three of wands okay they're both in the reverse um i don't when i touch my um uh, when i just touched my um two of swords um it felt i felt something Um, not all of you. This may apply for one or two of you. It looks like you had a um, miscarriage, but the universe is telling you to wait. You're gonna you're gonna get pregnant again. You'll get pregnant again. Um, you're gonna get your partner pregnant again. If it's an adoption and it and it didn't work out, it it will come through. It just it wasn't meant to be at this time, not at this moment in time. All right, that's you know. <sighs> Not for all of you, obviously. Um, I just wanted to show you the cards, all right? Some of you might have had dreams about being barefoot. I don't, listen, I don't. <laughs> 
sometimes my guys be like, all right, say this now. And I'm like, what? Some of you might have had dreams about being, being barefoot. All right. I, I, I know sometimes I, I, not sometimes, once in a while. I do have dreams that I have no freaking shoes. I'm walking in the streets with no sh no shoes. Not on the grass, not on the sand. I'm talking about the streets where, where there's pieces of glasses, pebbles, dirt, gum, someone's piss. And, um, and that's my horrific dream. Some of you may be having these horrific, horrific type of dreams. You know, it doesn't have to be being barefoot. It could be um, maybe for some of you, um, you're walking um, naked and you're like, oh my God, I'm naked. You know, this is dreams. I'm talking about dreams. And, um, and you can't figure out why you're trying to get clothes, but it just, you can't get clothes. You can't get shoes. This is vulnerability. Okay, for the most part, the, your dream is telling you stop being vulnerable. You're missing out on something special. Um, this is um, a path that you're not taking. Okay, not having shoes, not having clothes. You know, out in the public, you're you you are you're scattered. Your mind is scattered. Your your emotions are scattered. Um, your dreams are telling you to get on the right path, and you're not on the right path right now and it makes sense with the reading especially my first spread yeah i i can't get in, anything else from it yeah i i can't get anything else from it because um i, I would i would yeah that, that's it that's the message let's clarify it. seven of pentacles and my strength card again okay Okay. Wow. Let me tell you something. Cancerians. Cross watcher. And I don't know how this will work for a cross watcher to tell you the truth. But if you know, if you were meant to see this, 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 this video, then, then it's you. Then it, it was you. I almost, almost feel that whoever turned and viewed this video right here, this is your story. Whether you're Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cancer, um, this is your story. This is not just Cancerians. If you were meant to view this video, this is your story. Um. All right, what can I say about the seven of wands and the strength? Well, I think that you're fighting within yourself, right? But we can establish that, you know. Um, some of you may be in the process of evolving, and you're like, you know what, Leonore, you're right. Um, but, but life does get in the way, right? It does. It's just that not right now it's not the time you really have to shed your ego um at the moment um and what do i mean by shedding your ego um interesting i was just talking about um sun signs doesn't matter what sun sign or, or placement um, Mars, specifically Mars. I don't know why I'm saying Mars. Whatever your Mars placement is or your sun sign, doesn't matter. If you don't know it, you don't know it. It's okay. Um, I sat in the beginning here and told you what the fourth house represent, right? Cancerians, the home base, nurturing. It's ruled by the moon. Um... This is for all of you. I would check what your sun sign, obviously, you know what your sun sign is. You wouldn't be li 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 listening to tarot if you didn't know what your sun, where your sun sign placement is, right? Which is either, you know, Aries, Pisces, Capricorn, you know what I mean? The zodiac wheel. Oh, God. What did, what did, I, what did I do to my skin this time? I'm always peeling my skin. All right. Um... Sorry, ADD. <sighs> I 
I don't really like this energy. Um, my Seven of Pentacles. Um, but, you know, I do sense for the most part that you're not working on yourself. Uh, my strength card is um, a reversal energy and you're not working hard on yourself. I think that some of you may be doubting what it is that you need to do, who you are, where you're supposed to be, why did this happen to me? Um, but the seven of wands is telling me something. I'm sorry, the seven of pentacles. Um, I'm sorry about the noise everywhere. This is why I don't record in the afternoon. I'm over it. <laughs> um, okay, got it. There's a, this is not for all of you. This may resonate with a group of you. A large group of you, actually. There's a demon attached to you. And uh, honestly, uh, for those who resonate with this reading, the demon is attached to you. Now, you might have seen this type of darkness in your dreams. Um interesting because i'm getting two stories remember the high priestess my seer i did recognize that some of you um can get into that energy all that energy that i had explained the characteristic and traits that i had, exp had explained with my high priestess right some of you can't you already know that this is happening to you you, you could be, you could predict predict you could predict the future from your dreams my seven of wands, though, um, is a different energy, okay? I don't want you to mis mistake in the high priestess with my seven of wands because I'm feeling something. Um, now, am I saying that you are you don't have all those characteristic traits about um, that I said about the high priestess? Um, yes, you do, for those that resonate with it. But on top of that, on top of that, or just on a side note, there's a demon attached to you. This demon is um, feeds off your energy. Now, mostly it's your feelings. <sighs> Let me tell you the five stages of grief. Um, if you know it, congratulations. If you don't, <sighs> let me let you know. I'm sure a lot of you have heard the five stages of grief anyway. Grief is, is, is heartbreak. It's, it's heartbreak. But we go through stages of grief. And the first stage of grief is denial. All right? You know what denial means. The second stage of grief is anger. The third is um, depression. The fourth is bargaining. Yeah, bargaining with your source, the universe. I'm not talking about someone else, another human being. And the fifth um, is acceptance. You accepted this entire process. And you, you're slowly but surely moving on with your life. Okay? My seven of pentacles is attached to, to some feeling. Um, denial is not a feeling. Denial is denial. Anger and depression is. Those are feelings. Um, some of you are, are doubting yourself, but not just doubting yourself. You, you, you don't have self-confidence. They're feeding off of that. Um... And the list goes on. I, I don't want to go through all, all types of feelings. Um, but, you know, yes, yeah, some of us maybe are upset once in a while for whatever reason. Some of, some of us may be sad. Listen, I'm not talking about, you know, you know, feelings that you get here and there. Oh, hell to the no. 
I'm talking about feelings that you carry with you. You understand? Carry with you. Every fucking day. There's a demon attached to that feeling. I don't know how you're going to let it go. Because I did sense my strength card in the reverse, do you understand? And, and, and I'm, I'm choked up just talking about this. Um, because I know half of you are like, well, how do, how do I get better? Tell me, Leonore, how the hell do I get better? Because I don't want this demon attached to me, let alone feel the way I'm feeling every day. Some of you may be on antidepressants or even worse. I mean, antidepressant, I don't like antidepressants. I've been on it. Um, just medication, you know. I mean, it, granted, I'm not a doctor. If you need to be on medication, Jesus Christ, if that's helping you, you know, go through another day, take it. But um, again, I'm not an expert. I don't, I'm just saying that there are some of you that are on meds and then that's okay. I'm not judging here. I was on meds too. Still am. <laughs> um, but but not as worse as, as it was before. Um, and this is, this is the evolving stage that I need you to understand. Um, your whole read had to do, has to do with evolving and love. You're, you're stopping yourself from an amazing love. Ace, are you kidding me? Ace of Cups. <laughs> if you know anything about tarot, you know what the Ace of Cups mean. New love. Um, page of, of Cups. This is, this is an energy that I feel that wants to really go... They, I, I almost feel like they already know you, but they see that you're going through some shit, and they're like, maybe another time, maybe another time. Um, ten of Cups. Um, yeah, this is full on happiness that the universe wants to give you and, and, and they're kind of, they're holding it back on purpose because you're not out of this funk. I, that that would apply, applies for a group of you. Okay? <laughs> okay? If it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. Whatever. Um... Yeah, this, this is your message, Cancers, okay? Cancerian, whoever's watching. This is your message, okay? All right, darlings. Love you. Bye.